All right, I'm gonna do a quick uh, video on four wire idle valve testing. I didn't really want to test this out, but I could tell it wasn't moving in there and I couldn't figure out the test mode and things like that. So I ended up pulling the throttle body off to see where I needed to set this thing uh, to get some, some good idle air in there. Uh, I was also having a problem where I was required to open the uh, throttle a little bit to get it to start and that's not how it's supposed to be basically so I need to check this out make sure it's all working right uh, with the wiring and such. I actually found I had swapped two of the coil or I swapped the polarity on one of the uh, two coils basically you can swap either one so if you think you've got it right basically you ohm it out um, I got 50 ohms or 60 ohms on each coil so you, that's how you can tell which coil is which um, and if it doesn't work after that uh, you just swap the polarity on one coil and it should be good to go and that was the case on mine I had to swap the polarity on one coil uh, now all is well it's moving like it should be so basically uh, I'm in the idle uh, test mode here in Tuner Studio idle valve test uh, it's a little tricky at first to get the hang of uh, you go and turn it on and set it to home and it should home uh, then you're able to move it so uh, IAC home steps in that case is how many steps it moves in the backwards direction so towards open um, that would be that would be this direction uh, so I've got mine set at 200 so that's a pretty big move to home it'll torque home uh, just basically it, it, it skips steps until it, it goes okay well I'm probably all the way back by now so I can I know where I'm at so I'll go from there uh, so once you get this mode checked out, you power cycle, it should home all the way back. I'll kind of show you what that would look like. That's a home, basically. It goes all the way back to the limit. Uh, it might click a little bit. That wasn't an actual home. That was just a move. But uh, once it's homed, it'll look like this. Uh, so you want to move maybe 50 steps. That's going to be absolute from the home position, which will be back here where it was. Uh, so I move 50 to an absolute 50. Uh, so I can tell 50 steps lets in a certain amount of air. The other opening's over in this this area back here. So this this valve is going to seat up here in a little seat uh, and let less air through the further I go in. So I can go over to 100. Oops, sorry, I put 10 in. 100. So there's 100. Go 150. There's. Uh, 200 steps and it looks closed from the angle I've got but there's actually a little bit of air in there still um, so I can go ahead and go like 240 move some but it's not quite closed and then 255 you can hear it bottom out there and skipped a couple steps on the stepper so somewhere around about 250 I would guess uh, it's probably about where it's all the way closed uh, so I can tell uh, Tuner Studio that that's where I need to be when I'm in fully warmed up mode basically so in cool mode or if I'm if I'm trying to warm up this guy will be open a lot more and it basically creates a leak uh, or a way for air to seep in past the uh, the, the throttle body's blades here so uh, they're opening and closing like so but when I'm off the throttle they're closed and so this guy allows a, a path around where's he come from comes around through here so there's an extra little hole in there uh, that lets it through so anyway that's about it uh, in Tuner Studio let's see if I can get this tuned in here uh, that is the idle valve test so what I was doing here is just going putting in a new number like a hundred and then tab we'll run it to that location uh, the 200 above is going to be the uh, how many steps it moves to get there, so or to uh, to do its homing routine essentially. Uh, so that's about it.